In this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create a simple grid of blocks. So something like a game like Minecraft, how they spawn their block system, but this is going to be um, just a basic grid system that we can set up. Now people use grids a lot of the time for games like, um, like Pac-Man and different stuff like that that are like 2D, but we are going to be making a simple for right now just one layer of blocks that we can spawn and later on we might do multiple layers of blocks and create di different algorithms for maybe a maze or different stuff like that that you can implement into your games but the first thing you're going to want to do is create a empty game object and you just go to game object create empty and this is where the location we're going to be spawning our blocks at so we'll just jump into the code real quick and we'll go over this code so let's see probably won't need the index but yeah game object block one this is going to be our prefab for our block so we're going to be using blocks that are 10 by 10 and that's why we have this set by for 10 by 10 down here just for the spacing and such and then a uh, world width how um, pretty much the X and Z coordinates of your um, grid that you want so if you make a 10 by 10 cube then you can fit 10 in this row and 10 on this row and then spawn speed this is just a variable I threw in there so that um, sometimes the game runs really really slow if you're spawning a lot of blocks at once so if the game's trying to load up and it has to spawn a million blocks it'll probably crash so spawn speed you can set this to something really low like 0 0.1 if you want since it's a float or whatever you guys want to set that at so at the start we're going to create world and create world is pretty much just creating our grid of blocks which is going to be this function right here so we use yield wait for seconds and we put spawn speed in there so whatever spawn speed is set at it'll be plugged into here for how many seconds you want it to wait so this is pretty much put in here so when the game starts up it has to wait a second before it can start spawning and then we're going to be using four loops for this uh, grid and so what we're doing is we're creating a variable for x which is a u int and that's equal to zero currently and then x is less than world width so we don't want x to go over what we set our world to which is pretty much our coordinates for our grid so we don't want it to be we want it to have a set amount that it can create and then x plus equals 10 so pretty much each time it goes through this loop it'll be increasing x by 10 and that way it can sp it'll space out the block so I created a block that's 10 by 10 if you created a block that's 25 by 25 you'd want to set this to 25 but mine is 10 so both these will be set at 10 and I put another yield wait for seconds in there just to slow it down and another one in here now you don't need um, this many you can set it to whatever you want I'm just going to go and set that to spawn speed. I didn't change that. So yeah, we, we have um, this one, which will be creating our X row. So it'll be spawning blocks on the X. And then uh, it'll be spawning on the Z. So it'll create one, and then it'll go to 10. Create one, go to 10. So we'll be viewing that in game in a little bit so you can see exactly how that process goes when it's creating so it's nice to have this wait for seconds just so we can watch the grid being made and how these four loops work together to create this grid and then the last thing we'll need is to actually instantiate our block now we can create a variable for block and we'll equal to instantiate so it'll be creating the block we won't get it give it any um, positions in here that's what we're going to be using this code for. So we want to create a new vector 3 for this block. So block.transform.position. So this is creating a position in 3D space. 
which we're creating a brand new one. And this is pretty much um, the uh, empty game object that we're attaching the script to, so it'll spawn at that point. And transform.position.x, so the x of the uh, position of the game object, and then we want a plus x. So pretty much each time this goes through the loop, this x will be adding 10, so it moves along. So it'll spawn this block, and whatever this is, whatever x is set to, it'll increase it. So x will be stored over here. So each time it goes through, it'll be this will change to 10, 20, 30, 40, and each time one of these is spawned, they can plug that right into there. So the first one is just for position of the game object. The second one is to actually place it along, or offset it from the location for each one and we're doing the same for each one here except for this we're not we since we're not working um, yeah vertically um, we won't be needing to add anything like that so yeah so just for these two is this one z plus z and this is x plus x and that's all we need to do for this script now if you go to spawn blocks you can drag and drop your spawn block script onto there you're going to need to create a prefab for just an empty block. You could make special blocks that do different things. If you wanted to make them uh, move, or if you clicked on them, have them get destroyed or anything like that, you could do that by attaching a script in here for what happens when you click on the block. Or you could create just a script for your um, that's placed on your camera, and you can call raycast and if they hit like a tag so if you gave this a tag for block or whatever you want to do you could do different stuff through there I'll probably cover that in later tutorials so what you want to do is create that prefab drag and drop it onto block one and we have it all set up you can change your speed to whatever you want um, I'll reset this to one just so it goes a little bit slower or actually we're gonna set this to 0 0.5 we're going to jump in here, and we can see our our blocks being spawned. So it'll go to 10, it'll jump over, create 10 more, and so it'll loop in here until it has um, 100 blocks. So it'll just keep going and creating until it has just a square grid. Now you're not just confined to doing a 100 by 100 grid, you can make this 100 by 200, or whatever you want. I would recommend keeping it within, um, so if this is 10 by 10, keep it in, um, yeah, just make it go up by 10 for each one, and so on. So yeah, later I'll be talking more about different grids that you can use. We'll be randomizing them a little bit more. Maybe we'll spawn random blocks for each one. So if we're recreating the same grid, Maybe we want to instantiate a block. Next one we want to instantiate water. Next one we want to instantiate like, um, yeah, pretty much whatever you want. So this is going to be kind of like Minecraft in a way. Um, not really, but I'm just going to show you guys how to set something up that's similar to that. 